Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to build an ultimate cheese and charcuterie board. It could be a beautiful piece for your upcoming holiday party. It is also a very artistic way of displaying your cheeses and charcuterie meats. It's a great conversational piece where people can have wine around it and some conversation. The board I'm building today is for 10 people. But we could stretch it up to 20 people if you do your replenishments as they start to disappear from your board. Choosing the right board is very important for your successful centerpiece and I've chosen this really big one, it's 30 inches. Or if you don't like the big ones, you can choose up to three little ones and just display your cheeses and charcuterie meats separately. I also prefer to use a smaller board for the crackers since I don't like them on the board directly. What I also like to do is use that board cream. It will make your board very glossy and the colors will pop on it so it would be much prettier for you to display your things on it so just put a little bit of cream and polish your board we also need to secure our board if you're displaying it on a granite counter top because otherwise it's gonna move around and things are gonna fall off of it so i'm using a wet towel and i'm gonna place my board on it this way it won't move Creating this board is like creating the art, so we need to choose the right objects where we can display our things in. And I like those martini glasses, so you just have to choose the one that appeals to you the most. And I've chosen one that's going to go in the center of our board where we're going to put our olives and grapes. We also gonna need some smaller containers for our nuts and condiments and dips. And I like those measuring cups, they're very pretty. The copper measuring cups, I could use those, I could use these small containers and the ones I have different sizes and shapes. Also a smaller plate for your salt and pepper should be present. Some dipping dishes for your olive oil and balsamic vinegar would be a great idea to add to the board. And of course a small container for honey. You have to have honey on your board. Most of the things that are going to be on the board consider to be a finger food, but it's a great idea to add some utensils like smaller cocktail forks and spoons. If your lights are dimmed down where you're serving the board, it's a great idea to add some candles so people can find their food. Also some cheese markers and you can mark the names of your cheeses so people know what they're eating. I am not going to add them, but it's a great idea to have them. Before you start adding food items to your board, you have to scatter the smaller containers around it and so you know where to add things and um, just keep in your mind where you're gonna put in these little containers and don't overcrowd it. Let's talk about cheese selection. Have one that is a soft cheese, one that is a blue cheese, have one that's a hard cheese, one is a very unique cheese, and one is a sweet cheese. My soft cheese choice today is Saint Angel, which is probably one of my favorite triple creams from France. My blue cheese selection today is this blue cheese from Oregon, which practically melts in your mouth. My hard cheese selection today is this Herbs de Provence Bellavitano. It's a great herbal cheese from Wisconsin. My unique cheese selection today is this sweet red grass fat cheddar. And this cheese is very interesting. It's aged 12 years and has the most amazing taste. And my sweet cheese selection today is this cranberry goat cheese log. For my charcuterie selection, I chose this salami. It's called Varzi. It has a coarser grit than your regular salami. I also chose this great mortadella. And I love jamon serrano. I'm gonna use that one. And of course, I'm gonna use some chorizo. You're also gonna need to have some fruit and berry selection on your board. So I chose the blackberries, some kumquats. We're also gonna use some strawberries and two different types of grapes. I'm gonna use this one, which is called the Moon Concord. It's beautiful and very tasty. 
and the red grapes. As far as the veggies, I'm going to use some celery and cut them into one inch length, so just to prevent double dipping. We're also going to use some little carrots and a little bit of uh, tomatoes, and I like those Persian cucumbers. A good idea to have different types of nuts on your board, I'm going to use hazelnuts, pecans, cashews, and you should have at least one dry fruit on your board, I'm going to use apricots. As far as your crackers, have those um, simple crackers like saltines, so have some sweet crackers, have some dry crackers, and have some unique ones like those parmesan crisps. Also a good idea to have some pickled things on your board. I'm going to use this little tiny gherkins. I'm going to use two different types of olives. Um, and I am going to need some condiments. There is like salt and pepper. We're going to use honey, of course. And I have this honey that has a truffle taste on it, which I thought was very unique. We're also going to need different varieties of jams. And these little tiny jars would be cute. And I have the Marmite. I don't know if anybody gonna up for it and have some uh, mustard too. And for the olive oil selection, have one that has a fruity flavor like this lemonado, have this white uh, truffle balsamic vinegar, have some very good quality olive oil and balsamic vinegar, and maybe a cheese sprinkle. And this Alaskan sourdough would be great as our bread selection. We're going to start building our board by placing our cheeses and place them strategically uh, next to the containers where you think that things to go with them are going to go into. Then we're going to surround our martini glass, the one that goes right in the middle of our board, by layering it with grapes. And then just fix your grapes so they look pretty around that martini glass. And next thing, what we have to do, we have to fill up that martini glass with different types of olives. And you can use up to three different kinds of olives. But today, I'm using the green ones stuffed with garlic. And I'm using the uh, Kalamata olives. We're going to fill up our container with honey and place it right next to blue cheese because I think it goes well with blue cheese and then just can fill up all these little containers with little pickles and I've chosen for the people that like a little bit of spice to add some pepperoncinis to and then just start filling up your containers you could put your nuts in the smaller containers like that and then fix them so they look pretty on your board and also we're gonna start layering our fruit strawberries always good very well with cheeses so have some great strawberries next to your soft cheese and then you can top them up with some blackberries and it already looks very pretty then continue building your board and you can swap some things around but place things that go the best with certain cheeses right next to it like this uh, dry apricots will go very well with this sweet cheese and then you're gonna start uh, placing your meats and I'm gonna place this jamon serrano right next to the soft cheese I'm also gonna put some veggies right next to it and of course have some salt and pepper so people can dip into it if they like vegetables with salt and right next to this blue cheese we're gonna put some jams we're gonna put some uh, hazelnuts and I'm gonna add some raisins too just so it looks pretty then have the spoon for your jams have um, this uh, mustard for your mortadella and then you will place your mortadella and don't take things just like that out of the package have them placed very in a certain pretty way then have then have some veggies and cut them into small pieces so people don't uh, double dip into the ranch sauce and then this beautiful unique uh, cheddar cheese which is gonna cut into smaller pieces so people can enjoy the taste of it right next to the cheddar cheese I'm gonna put this beautiful chorizo sausage and just cut it into smaller pieces then have your um, salami right next to it and um, pile it like in a pretty way and then you can put some nuts and then this unique um, 
herb to Provence cheese just cut smaller pieces out of it so people can take it and then place the knife next to it so they can help themselves and then what we're gonna do we're gonna look at our board and we're gonna fill up all the empty spots with the things that we have left so you can add more fruit you can add more vegetables but your board has to be covered with food this way it's gonna look the prettiest then you can add some rosemary that will look so pretty use a smaller board for your crackers and I'm gonna use four different types of crackers for people to enjoy their cheeses and meats with I'm also going to serve some olive oil and bread and I'm going to use two different types of olive oil and two different types of balsamic vinegar and um, just have it on a little separate board and then just cut your bread into smaller pieces and have it right next to your big board. And look at this beautiful picture. This is your ultimate cheese and charcuterie board your guests are going to be so impressed and you can feel yourself like an artist creating something like that i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you soon bye